It's truly an honor and a privilege to welcome you all to this special webinar on the source of the meaningful entrepreneurship. Today, we have the distinct pleasure of hosting a renowned expert in the field of entrepreneurship, a visionary leader and the founder and CEO of Brain City, Mr. Faisal Ibrahim. Entrepreneurship is not just about starting a business. It's about creating something meaningful, something that has a positive impact on the society. And who better to guide us through this journey than someone who has exemplified these principles through their own remarkable achievements. Today's webinar promises to be an enlightening experience. Mr. Ibrahim will share his insights, experiences, and secrets behind the source of a meaningful entrepreneurship. Whether you're an aspiring entrepreneur, a seasoned business leader, or simply someone so passionate with making a difference in the world, opportunity for all of us. So I'd like to call to Fatima Sena to verbalize the welcome. Am I audible? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Good morning to everybody present here. Yeah. I'm honored to welcome each and every one of you present here. Today, we embark on a journey that delves into the meaningful entrepreneurship, and we are honored to have with us Mr. Faisal Ibrahim, the co-founder of Brain City. In today's webinar, we will have the privilege to hear Mr. Faisal speak about the topic, Source of Meaningful Entrepreneurship. He will share his experiences and insights on what it means to be a meaningful entrepreneur and how to find your source of meaning and purpose in your work. I believe that Mr. Faisal's message will be inspiring to our students, and I would like to extend um, my thankfulness, gratefulness to Mr. Faisal Ibrahim for your presence today. We are truly honored to have you as our guest speaker. Now, without further ado, please join me in welcoming Mr. Faisal Ibrahim in exploring the boundless potential of meaningless, meaningful entrepreneurship. All right. Thank you, Fatima and Aisha. It was, it was a good welcome speech. You managed well. All right. So let me have a look on everyone. Um, let me acknowledge everyone. Ravapi, Tejas, Mijimon, Isa, Muhammad, Musa, Bibin, my friend Bibin is here, Aisha, Muhammad Abdullah, Aisha, Adit, Adnan Shihab, Acer, Acer, you haven't renamed yet, and Azza, Fatima, Ak Ab Abrar, Muhammad Amin, and Ishal, Zahel, Iniya, Raya, Devashish, Shabana ma'am, she's she's front of mine, a teacher. Thank you for being here. Reem and Isaac Anthony. Yes, I am. Just be on the camera. <laughs> good. And Murugajan, sir, you know, very good friend of mine. And, you know, truly honor for me, you being here. Yes, Mansoor. Good. All the rest of the people who are not in camera, I'm not calling your name. You know, whoever came on the camera, you know, for me, it's, a, it's an acknowledgement. All right. How are you all doing? Good? Yeah, good. Yes. Good. good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well done. Well done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have this session on the two, two different contexts. The one context is I'm going to share some of the journey, um, some of the research findings which I had from my experiences. Isaac Adani, sir, thank you for being here, you know, friend of mine. Yeah. Saumia, thank you for being here. You know, good friend of mine. Yeah, a few people I know. And the rest of the part is the question answer. So first half an hour, I will do a presentation which I prepared for you guys. You know, it is a presentation which I did for, you know, the real entrepreneurs, you know, to remind them we have to play a big game. The other part is, let's have a conversation. Maybe a guy like Bibin, he's a very well-experienced uh, entrepreneur and a consultant. Maybe he also will help us some of uh, powerful questions, you know, to find out what is a meaningful source of the uh, true, true entrepreneurship. And 
each one of you, when I look at you, what I see is an entrepreneur. Each one of you. You are sitting in your chair and you are an entrepreneur. That's what I believe. And that's what I want to. Because when I explore the opportunities of being an entrepreneur, it literally transformed my life. It took a long time to get a hook on an entrepreneurship. Also, I would like to tell you, I am not a, you know, one of the most successful entrepreneurs to speak in front of you. I'm a speaker. I can able to, I could able to influence people through speaking. And also my entrepreneurship journey was ups and downs. A lot of struggles and challenges I went through and I will be giving a brief about my journey in the middle of the session. But hence, Hence, I would say I am I am not an entrepreneur yet. I am a business owner. I, even though I have a people working for me, I have a three business which I have actively participating employees. But still, my presence is still required in my office. So, an entrepreneur can become an entrepreneur when he sit at home and still the teams are working and they are making money, and he will be literally traveling around the world. <laughs> I am not there yet. So I would say I'm a business owner yet, but I found out what is the real meaning and the source of entrepreneurship. So the difficult part is finding a source. And if you provide a wonderful, extraordinary listening today, you need to have a new way of listening today. Because I know you all guys, most of you are sitting in online every single day and listening teachers and seeing all these digital classes. I'm still confused. How do you manage it? My wife is fascinated with these trainings by, you know, Rubina Ma'am and, you know, those guys do. How they do this? How they, you know, literally inspire these kids to sit in front of the camera and listen these classes. Wow, that's a privilege. They're extraordinary kids. I want my daughter to do it. I want my son to do it. That's what she says now. Hence, I also want to remind you that you need to provide a new way of listening. So what are the listening you heard so far? What are the listening you heard, you know, till today? If you provide the same way of listening, you may not be able to get the message I'm trying to say. So can I have a round of wave of your hand saying that you will provide a new way of listening? That is, listen from nothing. Okay, whatever we heard, it is heard. But now I would, you know, really say that I will listen from nothing and I will get something out of this and I will become an entrepreneur at the end of the day. You know, I will create a seed. I will I will place a seed today to become an entrepreneur. Yeah? All right. So the first part is I'm going to do a presentation. It will take around 20 to 30 minutes. Then I'll tell my story of my entrepreneurship, so-called business ownership. <laughs> then we will go for a question and answer session. The session goes up to, let's say now 15 minutes, maybe a little bit extra if, if the situation arises or if there is an opportunity. Otherwise, we'll be done at my time 10, your time 11.30. Maybe, you know, let's see how does it go. So the first part I would like to tell about myself, you know, so this is a poster, which you already have it. And a little bit about me. I've got a, I hold a master degree in business management. I'm, I worked in a multinational companies. Then I started my business. Currently, I have four business, Brain City and English Voice. It's merged together. It's a English Voice now, but Brain City is a passive business now. Then Free Zone Pro, it's my consulting active business. Then I have a camera and some media. Your voice is echoing. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Uh, your voice is echoing. Until not echoing. Until someone. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not, not echoing. Completely fine. Completely fine. It's, completely fine. it's somebody else. It's not echoing. Yeah. So can you all mute everybody? Let's. Yeah. All right. So, so this is about me. Then, apart from that, I do one more magic. It's called impacting entrepreneurs, 
which I'll provide a link at the end. I want each one of you go there and you know put your comment on the sessions there. Impacting entrepreneur is, is my journey. It's my passion journey. Where I go and talk to entrepreneurs and find out what is the real source of success, especially in entrepreneurship. So, so far, I have interviewed around 26 people and six people video, seven people video, I put it here. And the rest 20 is on the way. So what I do, the, the, the context called, the topic called impacting entrepreneur. And what I do, I go to the entrepreneur and I ask them, hey, what is the source of success? What made you successful? What made you to start the business? What are the key factors, key secret, which you implemented you in your life to become a successful entrepreneur? I ask these questions to them and I put in a small video format and share it in the internet. Yeah, which I will provide at the end of the sessions. This is something which made me to talk this subject today. So let's hear from you, few of you, you know, you need to raise the hand in digitally. Then I would like to know about you, minimum five to six people, who you are, few of you share your name, who you are, and what you are up to in life, why you are in future school. So first to five has been raised. You can six, maybe four of them can still, still raise the hand. Then I will choose few of them. Okay. So let me start with, um, yeah, let me start with uh, Muhammad Musa. Yeah, he's even waving the hand. So tell me about Musa. Hi, sir. Hi. Good morning. Mm. Yeah, tell me who you are, uh, what you are up to in your life. Like you're studying now. I don't know which standard you study. Then uh, why you are in future school? Is it because of your parents or because of you really loving it? Uh, give me some thoughts or shoot me something. Yeah, go ahead. My name is Mohamed Musa. I am 10. And okay. the reason I am in the school is because I want to learn business. You want to learn business? Wow, well done. Okay, I great. Yes. Well done. Good. Yes. Happy for you. Okay. Great. And who else? Uh, yeah, thank you, Mohamed Musa. Thank you so much. I truly acknowledge you. You're a superstar because you raise the hand. There are 73 people in this room. You raise the hand and you are one of the first one. So I believe you will become an entrepreneur. You just need to keep the hustle, you know, keep the, keep pushing. That's it. All right. Let me ask next one is Isa Nistar. Nistar is my good friend of mine and, uh, you know, good to hear from my friend's uh, daughter. Please go ahead, Nistar. Isa. Yeah, so my name is Izan Star and I'm 11 years old and I really like cooking and the reason I joined Hashish school is because I like it and in the vacation I have tried joining the vacation classes so I really understood the big uh, difference between my normal school and this school so I thought this is easy because in my school, I cannot keep up with the Hindi, Arabic, and all of that. So this was a really big, good change for me. Yeah. And what you're up to in life? That's what I would like to hear from you the most. I like What cooking. you're up to in and, life? Uh, yeah, I like cooking. So, you know, I like baking like new recipes. And uh -huh. the school gave me motivation to start a cooking business. And I already I have... And I'm really happy with that. Mm -hmm. Good. Well done. And I I'd also, I would like to acknowledge you being here and, you know, raising the hand. It required a real, you know, courage. And thank you for being here. Okay. Let me call Tejas. Okay. Good morning, sir. My name Good is Tejas. I am 13 years old. I'm, uh, I'm studying in 8th standard currently. So, um, yeah, uh, so the reason is 
I the, my father offered to that uh, feature school. So um, when I hear the feature of the feature school, I really like that school. And I, and I thought it will be more fun and more creative. Like, uh, you know, that the feature school are uh, teaching us AA tools like that. So I am so interested in AA tools, AA team, video team or something. So, oh. uh, so I joined. And my uh, uh, my dream is to become a businessman. Yeah. Well done. Okay. So that's what you're up to in life. The answer is I want to become a businessman. Yeah. Thank you, Tejas, for being here. Thank you for raising the hand, being on the top and sharing your story. Yeah, good. Roya Fahim. Fahmin. Fahmin. Roya, thank you. Go ahead. Roya, go ahead. Um, unmute yourself and speak. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hi. Good morning, sir. I'm Roya Fahmin. And I am Jessina's daughter. Ah, Jessina's daughter. Daughter. Okay, good. Good to hear you. Okay, what are you up to in your life? Uh, I'm, I will make crafts and sell them. Good. And... Uh, uh, why I'm in future school is uh, future school is better than my normal school because in normal school uh, uh, my worst subject was Hindi and mm -hmm. there was there were so much stress in me that uh, I I couldn't study so in this school uh, I'm relaxing and I can study the school well done good Thank you for being here. All right. Let me ask two more people, then we are done. Okay. So the lucky two, uh, the people in the camera. Okay, Aryan. Aryan. Okay, because he's he's waved the hand. Okay. So the last one, let's choose from the Me, right? who really went. Yeah, go ahead, Ayan. Ah, uh, Ian. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. And I saw that. Um, I'm 10 years old. And the reason I came to Ash Future School is because well, my mom found up about the school and well, I went for a demo class one day and I really liked it. And I realized it was like much better than my normal school and it was much easier. And like one of the reasons I liked this more is because like um I couldn't like keep up with like the Arabic in the normal school. So it was like a much harder and stuff. But here, when I came here, I, I actually learned more things than I would in a normal school. So, and like that, then I really liked it and I just like kept, and I decided I'll stay here. And what you're up and to in life? Like, what do you want to become? I want to become a football player. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, that's my ambition and like my dream. Basically, you practice um, football? Well, um, I'm trying to go to an academy right now, but it's like I don't think it's a good time right now. So All that's right. Why. That's but um, yeah, <clears throat> that's it. Thank you. Super. Thank you, Aryan. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's call Ayan. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you, Aryan, for being here. Yeah. Thank you. Final one, Ayan. Yeah, go ahead. Hi, my name is Ayan. I'm 14 years old. Uh, the reason why I joined Future School is because first, when I joined, I didn't feel much. But then, uh, basically, it teaches more about the future because when future in the future, it's more about AI, artificial intelligence. So when it teaches stuff like that, and new stuff which I didn't know, so I was interested in it. So... That's one of the reasons why I joined Future School. And my ambition is to be, as uh, Aaron said, my role is to be a football player. So I am going to a camp uh, now. So, yeah. Well done. Okay. Superb. Thank you, Ayan. So, rest of the members, you know, you when I ask some other questions, you may can raise a hand. I'll call you for sharing. Otherwise, I got a view about the rest of the members and all the students. I request all of you to be on the camera. I want you to really be on the camera. Okay, and fully be here because this conversation is very much important to you. 
And if you are in the camera, you are really in having conversation with me. And you will get something out of this after the session. All right. Now, let me take you through the quick presentations. Then we will talk about a few questions. So I'll give a brief about a little bit of my research findings about entrepreneurship and my experiences. Look, like basic entrepreneur definition of entrepreneurship is act of starting business with the intention of turning Instead of turning a profit, that's it. It's pretty simple. Start something to make profit. And I have a different, different thing, different definition. Living a life that you love to live. Because in entrepreneurship, there is a huge possibility living a life that you love to live. Because for me, what does life mean to me? I would have a great health. I would have a great relationship with my family and my kids. And I would like to travel around the world. And I would like to speak in front of the people. And I would like to make amazing content. I would like to give a uh, salary to lots and lot of people. And being reason for a lot of people, families, happiness. I would like to, you know, you know, always be free. So those people who are really looking to live a life that you love to live, entrepreneurship is the best option for you. Yeah. So this is typical uh, thing. The other thing is, there are in 2020, the study says there are 582 million entrepreneurs around the world. 582 million. You know what is million means? It's 10 lakh in Indian numbers. So that many billion, million uh, entrepreneurs are there around the world. So you literally have a choice because the future school... They are molding the students in a, such a way that they are living a life that they love to live. And they are really, um, they are really, uh, what do you call it? They're special. That's what I feel like. And these are the couple of entrepreneurs study says, like the people who are in uh, entrepreneurship, their job, like I do. I have a, I have a two active, super active business. One is consultancy, the other one is content creation. In my consultant, I'm super happy now. Because I have a very smart team working for me where I can sit at home and do my stuff, which I love to do. And I still, I got a call from office. But otherwise, very rarely I get a call from my office. But I still go to work, by the way. And it gives a lot of satisfaction. That's one. And I'm one of the satisfied person. So the study says 86% of the people who are satisfied with entrepreneurship. And they have job satisfaction. And the percentage of success in entrepreneurship is 84%. Even though there is a failure, the people who hustle, they go beyond their failure, the possibility of success is very high. When I tell my story, you will understand that entrepreneurship is the best one. Then freedom. You know, I've been into UK last month. In fact, yeah. And the month before I went to Saudi, a couple of months back, I went to Georgia. And a couple of months back, I went to uh, India. A couple of times, many times, you know. And also I went to Maldives. I have a freedom. And I'm sitting here at home. I'm not at the office right now. I was thinking to be in the office and do the sessions to show you the Sheikh Zayed Road because my office is literally near to the Sheikh Zayed Road. But I have, uh, you know, I have things to do and I thought to stay at home. Freedom. That's that's another thing. I can go anytime. Otherwise, you'll be having a, a note on your leg where you cannot move the leg unless you get the you know a, uh, freedom. Then happiness, I truly say when I uh, turn into one stage, then I, I can feel the real joy of happiness. Real, true sense of happiness. But it took a long time. It did not overnight. Been like six years I'm doing the business. In fact, it's the seventh years. It took really, really time to get into the, the hustle. And in fact, the other side is money. Once you become successful, you will have an abundance of money. Yeah. So these are basic stuff. Then let's move on to the different types of entrepreneurship. There is small entrepreneurship where you can start your own like uh, cooking or some small shop, some online business, some 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 stuff you feel like you can quickly start. You don't need a lo lot of fun for this which is you may can save some money for one year, like a, like let's say 10,000 each every month and 
or 5,000 each every month, then eventually grab 50,000 rupees, then you can start a business. Even lesser than that also, you can start in India. Then scalable startup, like there are a lot of scalable startup. The examples, I would say, there are multinational companies like uh, Facebook, Google, those companies, they started. Uh, Zohel, make sure you don't uh, scribble. Then, uh, then there is a social entrepreneur. Social entrepreneur is social committed uh, entrepreneurships, which is some kind of um, you know entrepreneurship which will give you socially committed projects. And the last one is large entrepreneurship, like mega companies. Okay, so these these are literally the entrepreneurship uh, style, different models. Then there is a five stages of entrepreneurship. One is idea. If you have a, a dream, decide to start your own company, create an idea. Then eventually talk to a few people in your around you. Then create a plan. Create a plan. How do I am going to implement this project? Where I am going to make the um, uh, location? Then where I am going to implement this stuff? Do stage. Then the execution. Literally start the business. Once you start the business, you start making some some progress then you can go for a scaling next level of entrepreneurship then company will grow drastically it literally take minimum three to five years to reach this stage so that is five stages of entrepreneurship then there is you know that there are multinational companies became they started as a startup like for example byju's the for example all your rooms um there are uh, unicorns they gone through this stage like which is idea stage then they created a small firm from the friends and family then they 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 collected some from from the pre stage startup then they went into the seed stage startup they collected mega fund from the vcs then they went for a series a series b series c funding then they became a very successful organization even they started exiting like uh, uh then now I would like to tell a few of the very successful entrepreneurs who became sensational. And uh, let's see here from them why they became who became. One is Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos is the founder of Amazon, which is the largest e-commerce marketplace in the world. They have uh, millions of customers worldwide. A brand for a company is like a reputation for a person. You earn reputation by trying to do hard things well. This is a quote from Jeff Bezos. So the message from Jeff Bezos is, if there is only one lesson you can learn from Jeff Bezos, start small, grow big. So if you want to create a mega company or even a small company, start small. So that's first one. Jeff Bezos, the owner of uh, Amazon. Then Bill Gates, you all know, you are all use his one and only Microsoft. And he is one of the very successful entrepreneurs in the world, very structured and organized human being. And if you, say, if you can make it good, at least make it look good. And the, the message from Bill Gates is, be your own boss and start early. And future school, you have an opportunity to start early. You are already started getting seeds in you. That's why Rabina Ma'am invited me to speak to you because he she maybe felt like, this is the best way I can give some seeds to their heart to start their own business. When you all know, Marcus Zuckerberg, very successful entrepreneur, 100 billion. Can you believe 100 billion? Yusuf Ali is still 5 billion, my 5 or 7 billion. But Mark Zuckerberg, it took 20 years to make that 5, uh, 5 billion. But Mark Zuckerberg did not take this much long. He, he became sensational, successful entrepreneur. And he, he says only one message, don't chase money. That's what I say is the source of entrepreneurship is different. A lot of entrepreneurs, they chase money and then end up nothing. Then I will give an example of Larry Page, the founder of Google, along with the Sergey Green, some of you know. And he says, invention and marketing are the key to success. He got a different kind of a business. He always innovative. Like Google is always innovative. And they do incredible marketing. Now let's take to Richard Branson, one of the most powerful and 
you know, very charming and still looking young guy, yeah, because he's always dynamic and he says, enjoy what you do. If you do something which you love to do, then you will become successful. Can you all mute yourself? Make sure you are muted. And and Steve Jobs is no more. But he was impactful entrepreneur because he made the wonderful, he became the reason, the source of iPhone. They are one of the largest companies in the world. Two trillion dollars. Your time is limited. So don't waste living someone else's life. Because if you're in, if you're working for somebody, you'll always living for somebody. So that's from Steve Jobs. Then Larry Erison. I'll I'll read a few of the names which I feel comfortable and really inspiring. Ridesh Agarwal is a young man from India. He also comes in our uh, Dubai Indians uh, entrepreneurs list. But still, I would like to read this guy. He says, find the right mentor. If you want to become an entrepreneur. Yeah, well done. Yeah, he, he's the founder of uh, the Oyo Rooms, one of the largest uh, companies. And he started off as as a young man and he found a hotel that wasn't running well so he told the hotel he'll make the place better he made the place better and then after that many people started coming and then he became the founder and the owner of oyo oyo hotels and now wow. he has over two billion two billion and he's known as the youngest billionaire absolutely well done agash well done yeah, that's really good. Good to hear that, you know. Then Elon Musk, you all know Tesla now. You all know SpaceX. Yeah, Elon Musk is the founder of Tesla and SpaceX. Yeah. He's also he also owns Twitter now. <laughs> Absolutely. He also owns Twitter now, and people say by next year he will have around a trillion. Yeah, it is. He already crossed two hundred and fifty billion dollar. You know, is massive success. And he says only one thing. Take risk. Take risk. All right. Then Steve Ballmer, maybe, you know, Mugesh Ambani. Mugesh Ambani is, he got he inherited his wealth from his father, the Ambani, one and only Ambani. And he, he is a very powerful entrepreneur. You know why? Because both Anil Ambani and Mugesh Ambani got wealth, got equally wealth from his father. Anil Ambani became bankrupt and Mugesh Ambani became double. So that means he is an impacting entrepreneur and he says, disrupt the industry. There are a lot of opportunities in industry right now. Just rather than doing the same thing what others do, bring something new which is like, wow, wow. So those kind of stuff, you know how he brought Reliance, Geo, you know, how he is bought retail, Reliance Retails, those stuff. Then Ofra Winfrey, she is one of the very inspiring lady in the world. You know why? One is, she's an African-American woman, self-made a woman billionaire in the world. She made her wealth her own. She born poor. But now she's not. And she says, your personal brand matters a lot. Make yourself as a brand. You know, even though whatever the background she is from, she still really branded herself very well. And she, she says, be thankful what you have. You'll end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you will never, ever have enough. It's a good message from Ofra Winfrey. Then... I would say some known figure, Jack Ma. Jack Ma is also very, very powerful and very inspiring leader. He also teach like me. Like he go around the world and speak. He's the owner of Alibaba. 50, over $50 billion. The China's biggest e-commerce company. And he says, guest used to the failure. So if you are choosing to be an entrepreneur, be ready to fail. There is nothing wrong with the failure. Dance with the failure. That's what I would say. Because it's not going to be easy. 
but it's not going to be tough. But once you once you cross the tunnel, you will dance because entrepreneurship is so pleasant, full, happy, and cheerful. But it required a little bit of boldness, a little bit of courage, a little bit of over, you know, real, real commitment. And he says, I know nothing about technology because he was a teacher. I know nothing about marketing. I don't even know nothing about legal stuff. I know only about the people. He believed in people. He find right people in his team. And he became one of the most successful men in the world. So these are wonderful, extraordinary success stories. He is a Shiv Nadar. He is the owner of HCL Technologies, one of the one of the very noted entrepreneur from India. I, you know that you know he he HCL operates in around fifty countries in the world. They they build computers, they build systems, they build softwares now. And he says, be bet on the new and going sectors. Because he's not a traditional entrepreneur. He found the opportunities in technology and he invested. He put his time and soul into it and he became a successful entrepreneur. And he says, adaptability and a constant innovation is the key to survival of any company operating in a competitive market. So that's the next level of thought, which you, I don't feel like that's the right thing to discuss. And the final one, I would say Ratan Tata. There are 20 people, but I would I will conclude here with the famous personalities. You know, he was a former chairman of uh, a Tata Group. And he says, build a brand that trustworthy. Create a brand. So find a name which you feel comfortable and start creating now itself. And he says, if you want to walk first, walk alone. If you want to walk far, walk together with a team. Create an extraordinary team. So these are the, you know... Um, you know, entrepreneurs, which I would like to tell from this this stage. Now, I would like to remind you a few entrepreneurs list, which is Anand Mahindra, very successful entrepreneur, the owner of Mahindra Group, then Kotak, Kodak, Uday Kotak, and, and she is um, Kiran Mamjudar Shah, chairman of Biocon Group, then uh, Bavi Shagarwal, Ola Group, it's a startup, then uh, Inmobi, the founder of uh, Inmobi, that's a uh, technology app. Then Radhika Rawalwal, Shop Clues. So the list goes on. So where do you want to place yourself? That matters now. Now, let me go through uh, another slide, which, which is what are the common mistakes people do? You know, some people, what they do, they will do all themselves. Then they'll get up and end up in failure. Failure. Some of the people have their set way of doing that. Also, may make failure. You need to have a courage to adapt this technology and people's ideas and advices. Some of them make mistake because they will too much rush into the plan. They have some plan and they will go faster. Then they'll be in trouble. Then you know, some of them make a mistake in creating no connections. So if you want to become an entrepreneur, start making connections right now. How many people, how many people see your WhatsApp status? That shows who you are today. If you, if a lot of people are showing your WhatsApp status, mean you are connected human being because people should save your number. How many people you know? If you know, if you have challenges, how can you pick the phone and call the people? Then you are. So I would, I one re recommendation I would like to give you right now: create connections. Even in this age, start creating contact in your phone and in your, in your, I don't know, wherever you keep your connections, maybe in your brain. People like you should keep in your brain and create extraordinary connections. Now, you know, why became, why become an entrepreneur? So there are a few reasons. You can become your own boss. Nobody you need to accountable to. I'm, I'm my own boss now. I can choose to do what I would like to choose to do. If I don't want to go, I don't want to go. I, I know I there, there are times I worked maybe 20 hours. But now I have only, I need to work only less time. But I'm not there to rest yet, by the way. You know, because I'm not really fully owned by own self. Because I still need to minimum 20, 30 people and really passive is coming. Then I can take my own, you know, decisions and stay at home. The other one is, you know, 
create your new new product and service if you have an idea create your own you know product or idea so create a small business plan there are a lot of if you know canva there are so many uh, uh, business canvas models available uh, pitch deck is available go to one pitch deck download one pitch deck start putting informations maybe a product or a service i am into service and service industry i have a consulting business and the uh, uh, media business this is two business and education which is my passion which is brain city but otherwise these are my major business which is my active business brain city is my passive business so create an idea build a product when it's a service or industry then quickly gather market and product information everything available in internet and create a small plan put a paper, pen and paper then create a prototype then eventually start talking to the people and pitch your plan to the people i have a couple of business which is uh, let's say not a couple of people, one business which i've got invested by somebody else one millionaire invested in my business because i pitched him and he saw that i'm growing so if you are a capable person if you are able to really communicate powerfully you will be funded by the smart people or funded by the people who have money so all you need to do create a proper plan and go and talk to the people hey i have a business idea can you invest if you go to canva or if you just google this one you'll be able to find out there's something called a business model canvas this is very powerful and very structured if you do through this one your business the possibility of failure will become very less Find out what are the key partners for your business, whether it's a product or service. What key activities? What are the key activities you're going to execute? Then key resources you need. Then value proposition you're going to provide. What are the customer relationship strategies you're going to do? Then what are the channels you're going to do the sales? Then what are the seg customer segment you're going to uh, execute this project? And finally, create a cost structure or a revenue stream. It's a very easy model. You can be able, you'll be able to download this and also i'll send this i already sent this uh, presentation to rabina map so please collect it from her and utilize this then then the uh, build your own schedules and work from anywhere that's what advantage now let's go to the 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 topic of today we are almost done now the final presentations so you and i born like this the meaning of entrepreneurs is like a full wheel. But what happened over the time, we will lose the spoke. And how we lose the spoke with the three reasons. And how I found out, because when I when I did the interview with the many successful entrepreneurs, I realized, what is really success means? Is it money? Or uh, is it something else? Is it fame? Because some people, they are very successful. They don't have fame and they are like, they want to be hide, hidden. Some people are very successful. They are very bad with their relationship with the people. They don't have even wife. Like, you know, they are divorced and they don't have. Some people, they are very successful with the money, but their kids are not listening to me. They come to me and Faisal, uh, I have very, you know, very rich background. I have money, but my daughter is not ready to get married and she's have her own things. I said, why is that? Some people, they are very good, but they are weak in wealth, health. They don't have a good health. They don't care of their health and they end up having cancers and the early stage and eventually early death. Some people spiritually very low, like they don't have a proper structure in their relationship with their spiritual powers. So I understood the meaningful entrepreneurship mean having a full wheel. Is it possible to have a full wheel? Actually, it is not an easy task to be a full wheel. And it is totally dependent on your decision to be in the full wheel. So I talk about entrepreneurship. Now I'm talking about the meaningful entrepreneurship. This is what I found. That's why my motto is not to make money. My motto is to make money where I'm fully peaceful and, and I'm fully celebrating my life Then I make money. So definitely it is making money. But, however, I have to have a proper proper structure in my life. I'm 30 or 8 year old right now. And I have, a, uh, I have got a family. I've got two kids. And, you know, I look perfect. And, and I have a, I'm a boxer, by the way. 
you know, I do boxing most of the day. In fact, last night I did boxing. So I manage my body. What I understood, so each one of you have to have this one analyzed every week. How you are going from 1 to 10 on business and your career. You need to have your calculation. Then the money, finances, specifically finances. Even in health, how you are placed in 1 to 10. 1 is least, 10 is super. And, and family and friends, how much you are connected with your friends and family, 1 to 10. In your romant, romantic life, when you get married and when you have your partner, how much you are connected with your partner and your personal growth. Because what I understood, a lot of entrepreneurs, they don't really work on their personal growth. So if you guys in a young stage, if you could able to develop these skills in the early stage and if you become an entrepreneur, you will become an impacting entrepreneur. You will become a meaningful entrepreneur. Otherwise, you will have a lot of money. You will not have a health. You will die like Steve Jobs did. Or people will, you know, they will have months money, but Jeff Bob had been divorced and they need to find another wife. Yeah. And his wife got married to another person and that's that's become the big news in the market. That's I don't think so. that's a real, real success. Even though in an entrepreneurship journey, we can even take an example of becoming one of the most successful entrepreneur. But in fact, for me, Jeff Bobos and Chief Jobs are not successful because Steve Jobs died early. Jeff Bob got divorced. Even Ratan Tata, he is alone. He says one of the mistakes he did it, he did not create a people around him because he did not get married. So meaningful entrepreneurship means, you know, whatever the natural uh, calling, whatever the natural resources and the availability we supposed to do in life has to be achieved, which is personal growth, fun and recreation. Some of them are, you know, super focused on their work. They don't go for any fun and recreation activities. I go to cricket match. I play. You know, sometimes I go to football, I do boxing. So several things I do to create fun and recreation. I also have a well-known communities. You know, some of you know that I've been, uh, went to UK, I went to parliament and I spoke in the parliament. So this, this opportunity I've got because of these connections I created. And finally, the physical environment you have, your discipline, your, uh, your surroundings. Is it a very healthy and wealthy? Then you are a meaningful entrepreneur. Now, let's move on the real source, which I found out from the people. The first one is integrity. If you want to really, really, really to become a meaningful and impacting entrepreneur, have integrity. What is integrity? While you are speaking, while I'm speaking, you're all having one language at your head right now. Some of you are thinking something. Some of you are maybe talking about how can I become an entrepreneur. Some of you are maybe doing something else. Some of you are playing in the game. Some of you are not even attending. Some of you are having some conversation going on in your head. Language in your head is integrity. Integrity is in a normal language. It is, a, it is you know, being whole and perfect or being in honesty, being in doing right thing. That's not integrity in my language. It is even beyond. And definitely that is plus, you know, really having that powerful voice in your head. That will make you successful. If you develop integrity, being really become a man of word or woman of word, I'll tell you, you will become super successful. Do what you say, say what you do. That's it. Then you will become in that wheel. The second one is having authentic. At home, one behavior. At school, different behavior. At uh, this online school, you are different behavior. At the public, you are different behavior. I'll tell you, you will not become the one who really, really recognized and, you know, extraordinary. If you want to become an extraordinary, become a powerful, meaningful, you know, impacting entrepreneur, please be authentic. Please remove your mask. Everywhere show one person. Gazelle means everywhere same. Stages mean everywhere same. Reem means everywhere same person. Junaid is same everywhere. Muhammad Amin is same everywhere. You know, you know, Fatima is everywhere same. Aruna is a same everywhere. If you bring that kind of a uh, extraordinary human being in you, I'll tell you, you'll become super successful. And the last one, develop these seven com competencies of communication. When you are communicating, make sure you, co you communicate very clearly. 
we want to say something, speak to them on their face. Don't hide. Don't have an, please don't have an agenda in conversations. You know, don't, you know, have this extraordinary clearing in conversations. If you develop these three develop three competencies along with along with all the techniques and uh, skills I've I've explained, I'll tell you you will become unrecognizable. Thank you. So I think I've done justice. I've, I've finished uh, presentation uh, in on time so now i would like to you to do one thing before you ask question go to this link impacting entrepreneurs in instagram and uh, yeah just follow then you will be able to see all my videos then let's have a, a couple of conversations then we can talk about what is integrity what is authenticity and how can you develop a you know precise powerful conversations we can even start asking questions right now. Yeah, go ahead, Aditya. My question is like, um, uh, you and the first part you said you'll tell your story at last. So yes. Oh, well can done. Can we do that now? Yeah, let's do that now. So, you know, thank you, Aditya. You are really, really great. Thank you so much. I born and brought up in a village in Kerala, Trishur. Very specifically, a place called Kargamad. Maybe few of you know there is a beautiful lake called. Uh, um, it's a backwater called Kargamad. I studied in LP school. Then I went to you know uh, government school called Vatagat school. Then I went to Orimanu school. I failed my tenth standard. That's what happened in the first stage. When I failed my tenth standard, people started telling me you are uneducable. You know, especially my my family members said, Faisal, you are not uneducable. You are not you are not educable. You think I think and I was very short numbered in a very early stage. And people started telling me, no, maybe we should make him to do something else. And I was very depressed those days. I felt like I'm a failure in my life. And I ran away from my home. And I started working as a dishwasher in a hotel in Cochin. God grace, my mom was not ready to give up on me. Even though I was a kid of, you know, five-member family, I I called my mom after weeks and I did not spoke. I just want to hear her voice. But she found out through call writing that I'm in Cochin. She sent people to Cochin. My father was in, uh, was a non-resident. He was in, he was in Dubai. And, uh, what happened, my uncles went around to Cochin and I was working as a juice machine, juice maker in a restaurant. I was making a juice. I still remember that pineapple I put on the top of the jar and he caught me on my hand. Boom. Then I'm back. A day before, uh, day before I moved to the juice making, the owner wife told me, Faisal, I really want a boy in my house. Can you be my assistant at home? And I said, no, I don't want to be. I just want to be here. But I was confused. I was thought like it's a golden opportunity to go to her house and, you know, get all the luxury to live, luxury life to live. But I choose to be here. But it was my destiny. If I have been gone to that home, I would have been a, probably a, a guy who was around that village till today because I've been never caught. I caught that day, so I'm back to home. I went to the teacher. I told my mom, mom, I don't want to study in the same school. I my mom said, Lord, worry, Faisal, go. I'll I'll do everything for you. I went I went to the school. My uh, my uh, my mom took the teacher. Her name was Lynette, uh, and uh, mom told Lynette, I have Faisal have one concern, which is he will be teased by the students. So please don't make please make sure that people don't tease him. I remember Lynette. Lynette said, don't worry, Faisal. He even said to the student, do not ever ask anything to Faisal. Somehow the results came. I failed my 10th standard, which I said earlier, it's happened in the 10th standard. Then I went home. 
and I decided, mom, I don't want to study in the same location. And I went and started studying in far away from my home. I I stayed at mosque in the during the day during the night, as as, as some of you know, people study at mosque and they do the learn the soul rituals and the kitabs, the books from the Islamic scriptures. And I studied in a private school, and I passed my tenth standard. Uh, you know, after doing one year of preparations, then I moved to my. I I really started studying well, you know. I don't know some see, some reason I started getting my power back. I went to my higher studies, then I moved to Trishur. I did my graduation in in uh, Trishur Corporate College. Then uh, I I met a guy. His name is Alan Hendricks. A 70 year old paralyzed guy. His son said, Can you take him around to Trishur City and the hospitals and the malls? And then I'll pay you 500 dirham. Those days, 500 dirham, 20 years back, 500 rupees was is like a big money. So I said, Wow, I'm getting extra 500 for my education. And I took that, I took that thing and I, I started doing well. Eventually, that guy told me after one year, after a year and a half, he said, Faisal, I will sponsor your educational expenses other than the main fees and your hostel fees, your food fees and all other expenses. Can you go on for higher education? If you stay with me, you'll stay for me. If you stay with me forever. So better go and do something which you're on. And I, I went to I went to Bangalore. I did a attempted CAT. Uh, I did not get through. I spent one year on CAT, CAT preparations. Then I went to my MBA in Bangalore. I studied my MBA. I passed my MBA with the first class. Then I came to Dubai. I came to Dubai and almost seven years, I worked in a different, different multinational companies. I worked for a company called Kerry, a company, a company called Adam Consulting. I was one of the uh, very successful consultant those days. In 2015, I decided I want to start my own business. And I started a coffee shop in Abu Dhabi with my savings. I lost all the money. All the money I lost. Uh, a year before I got married, you know, I married to Jisney. She was, it was an organized marriage. Then what happened in 2017, I decided not anymore. This will not work for me because working and doing a business, I should exit and start my own full-time business. And I started a consultancy initially. I don't know, two years I worked, even though I was confused in this whole two years, should I go back to work? Should I stay in the business? Because it was not fascinating for me because I was a high paid executive. Somehow, 2000, you know, two years later, I got into heavy depressions and I realized, no, this is, this is very struggles and challenges. In 2019 and 20. You know, um, I started multiple business along with my couple of my friends. I started a food food and beverage solutions. Then I I started a company called uh, Almaha Hydraulics. Hydraulics, what is the full name? I don't remember. Then, uh, then I started Brain City in during this time of COVID. I got to know the real source of success during that time, being in integrity, being in authentic authenticity because I was not authentic. I was not honest in everywhere in my life, especially my relationship. I was not giving the full dedicated time to my, my partner. Then I realized I started fixing my relationship with my wife. It became extraordinary. My kids it started behaving differently. I started giving a wonderful, extraordinary parenting. I did a lot of magic in my life, in my relationship, my kids. And I also I started, you know, being some guy who really take care of the health because I understood we have to move our positive hormones, the dopamine, oxytocin. Then you will make a big difference. It happened to me. I started making money. And uh, and last year, I restructured my business, which is Freezone Pro and the consultancy business. And I started making money now. So my dear friends, my, my message to you is, you know, if you want to become an entrepreneur, it's not something... You know, I don't want to say it's not mean for anybody. It's mean for everybody. If you want to become, you need to have that dedication and you know commitment to do this. Then things will fall in place. 
if i have not if my mom would have not given up oh i have four kids already i just leave this you know sick guy let him do whatever he want i would have been a dishwasher i am not a dishwasher now around 10 families are living on 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 my my payroll now and i have a very very powerful structured wife you know she is extraordinary i have got a beautiful son and ryan ryan and zara this is my my family yeah then i'm super healthy i i i i i got detected some of the sickness but i manage my health well i'm connected with extraordinary friends around me i got great 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 friends and i'm well spiritually i'm connected very well spiritually i do my prayer i find time to pray i have a quran on my desk no it's not something i read every day but still i find some time to read and you know i i accepted as as who i am and accepted the way it is it is designed my request to you each one of you are a gem and you are a diamond you are a gold you have a something inside you you need to watch your your little voice inside your head if you ignite your voice inside your head if you start listening that voice and if you start really literally controlling your head all you need to do is structure your life very powerfully do what you say say what you do you know one of the things i which i strongly believe i am very very much love with my life i am very much love with my parents my father passed away 4 years back in an accident but i remember him wherever i go i pray for him my mom is still alive and she she is one of the source of my success your parents is a blessing go back to your parents kiss them on their head and tell them i love you it's one of the fortunate thing you have in your life having your extraordinary parent they go through a lot of pain i go through a lot of pain but i still standing i still stand i still fight life is like a fight god has given one power to you you know what is that power one power extraordinary power anybody can answer me what is the one power god has given you put in the chat also what is the one power god has given to you the power of creativity imagination well done agash pretty close can i say yeah go ahead Think, shout out uh, the power of being able to like do like anything you want to like being able unique. to control it. the power of freedom no, no 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 wait 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 who I said that, that who said being before that unique. no who I said don't. who said before that better raise, raise the hand digital hand and speak then i can track who said who said before that tejas you did uh i am yeah what was it what is it i told it? being unique everyone has a unique yeah, good good being unique okay who said before unique someone uh, said something uh, i think i was free freedom yeah. No, wait, wait. Who is that? Can you raise the hand, digital hand, and speak? Wait, okay, wait, wait. I said, like, being able to, like, you know, basically like, control yourself, do anything you want. Actually, that is the one, but I can't find out who is speaking. Any freedom to do anything you want. What is the, who said that? Adit, 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 Adit. Raise the hand. Where is Adit? Adit, yeah. Adit, repeat that. What you said? I let. said the power wait, of being wait, able to. Wait, 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 wait. Mute. Let everybody mute it so I can't track you. Okay, go ahead, Adit. I can see you now. Go ahead. I said the power of being able to do anything you want, being able to control yourself. Absolutely, absolutely. Can you all give a hand to Aditya, Adit? Right? Yeah. God has given one power to you. Oh my God! I can't believe this because nobody given answer to me on this questions. The power to create the life that you love to live. Anything you want, all you need to do you need to manage that voice inside your head. Anything you want, you can live a life that anything you want. So you want to become a millionaire? Start now. You want to become healthy? Start now. 
You want to become an extraordinary husband? Start now. You want to become an extraordinary wife? Start now. You want to become an extraordinary father? Start now. You want to become an extraordinary son? Do it right now. You want to become an extraordinary uh, you know, uh, student? Do it now. Everything on your hand. God has given you one power. The power to create the life that you love to live. It is in your head. You need to just watch your language in your head. Then start taking some actions on daily basis from today. Then you will see you are not becoming a dishwasher. You will become an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurship is a choice. With understanding the same time you are understanding this choice to life that is in your creations. So Adit, you want to say anything else? Because it's just phenomenal. How you got this? Because like from everything you said, I kind of understood. What... Mm. Like so that's, that's how I got the idea of that. Absolutely. Yeah. It's beautiful. You. Yeah, well done. You so create your life, Adit. Create the life that you love to live. Make your mom and dad proud. Make your teachers proud. I sent a message to my teacher. Teacher, my name is Faisal Ibrahim. I was the one teacher. Took me to the classroom and told everybody, this guy is ran away, I know. Don't worry about it. I stand for this boy. And I went to, I went to British Parliament and spoke in front of the uh, members of the Parliament. Ma'am, your, your, your student went to the Parliament, ma'am. I'm so proud of you. You are the source of my success. I told my teacher. And you have that power. You just need to create that right now. You need to seed it right now. It's an opportunity. Future school is providing that kind of a leadership and opportunities for each one of you. You need to buckle up. You need to pull your socks. You need to discipline yourself. Don't get fascinated with this all, you know, these things around the world. Structure yourself extraordinary way. You know, discipline yourself. Be honored to your word. Keep your word extraordinary. What comes out of your mouth, you need to be very careful. You need to watch what language is coming out of your mouth. The language inside your head has to be structured. Have a discipline in your life. Have a board like, this is what I need to do in my life. Wake up on time. Sleep on time. Prepare your sleep properly. You know, uh, Eat, eat healthy food. Don't go for unhealthy food. Make sure that your stomach is filled with a good, right, horm um, you know, these stuffs, food. And then st 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 things will fall in place. When you come to the class, please put your heart and soul into this. You know, don't do, you know, plan B at the time of the class. When you're sitting in the computer, Fully be here with the camera. Don't fool this teacher. You'll lose your life. You'll lose the opportunities. Be here fully. You know, ask powerful questions. Make them proud like anything. Each one of you have that capabilities and soul inside you. You don't need a PhD to do this, by the way. You can start right now. Think. You have everything available in your fingerprint right now. There are incredible videos available in YouTube. Don't waste your time. That's what I would like to say. And the source of success in your house, your father and mother, your teacher. Go back to them and tell them and hug them and tell your mom, I love you. Tell them, till today, I did a lot of mess in your life. From today onwards, I'm not going to be a mess in your life, mom. I told my wife every single day, uh, uh, don't make sure that my mom is super happy. You know why? Because I messed my, my, my mom's life when I was a child. I given her a hard time. I throw her stones. I'm pity on myself when I, who I was in the childhood. But I'm making everybody proud today. Going, to, going around, talking to the people, igniting people, empowering people, you know, taking big, big risk in my life. But you don't need to. I made all this mistake. I'm teaching you. Don't do this, please. Teachers are the source of success. Head, you know, bow your head on it in front of your mom and dad, then your teacher. 
and connect with the God very powerfully, irrespective of your religion. You put your head down and really pray to God, you know, from the deep down of your heart and things will fall in place. Who would like to say what? One of you want to say something? Then I'll take the conversation from there. Yeah? Yeah, Muhammad Musa, what do you want to say? What do you want to say, Muhammad? Abrar, go ahead. Sir, if you would give me a motivation, what, what would be the best motivation you would give to me? See, I'll tell you, motivation is always like a, it's like a, it's like a, you know, like a, like a Pepsi jar, man. Like the moment it comes out, it will feel better, but eventually it will go away. It's like a soda. So don't believe in this motivation. Believe in discipline. Develop habits. You know, each areas of life, declare a war against your, you know, your indiscipline life. So you take one area, health. What do you want to become? Who you are right now? You acknowledge that I made a mess in my life. Then you declare, I'm going to become something in my health. Make sure you sleep properly. Prepare your sleep. Before you sleep, do some prayer. Go to washroom and make sure you freshen and get ready to sleep. Just don't go and sleep. Don't use this digital media and just fall into the sleep. Then you are in trouble. You will not make magic in life. If you want to magic in, if you want to create a magic in life, I would recommend have a disciplined sleep and food. Food and sleep is one of the basic things. One. Then you go to the relationship. Relationship with the people in your life. Make sure you create extraordinary connection with the people. You should have your army. Ah, Fatima Zanya. Oh, Tejas, Aaron. They are extraordinary people. You should have few people to acknowledge you. If you have those people, you are on your track. So that means relationship, including your father and mother. You have the rest of the world is acknowledging. Your father and mother is not acknowledging. You are in trouble. And your teacher. The third, second members of the people you need to look up to, your teachers. Your teacher should acknowledge you. That girl is extraordinary. She is committed. She is dedicated. She is a good woman. Then you are on the game. Then the third one is your spiritual connection. It is too early to talk and teach you. But still I will tell you, find a time to connect with the God. Whatever the religion you believe, that's up to you. But there is a God. There is a source up there. Believe in that source and do some activities to connect this. And the last one I would say, take care of the money properly. Money is an energy. Money is an energy. You need to take care of the money powerfully. If you give away the money, if you take the money, make sure that you also exchange the money. Whatever you get it, you have to exchange something with the money. Or if you have receiving some money, make sure that has been properly allocated to the resources. Otherwise, money gets stuck and you will not be able to make a big money in your life. That's something I understood. So I give away money. I give my salary on time. In case if I could not be able to give the salary on time, I go and acknowledge, I, I acknowledge my staff. Hey, I could not be able to give you a salary on time because I had a certain challenges. Is that okay if I give you three days, within three days? Literally, this much has happened to me. Because I was in London, I was traveling. I could not be able to say, pay the salary on time. Then I say, paid the salary after three days. I literally said sorry to my staff. And I said, so make sure that you manage, you really respect money. Make You know, when the money comes to you, feel like, okay, Alhamdulillah, God grace, I got the money. And make sure that money has go to the people which is important to you or which is required to reach these things has to be done. So motivation is a so it's rather than looking for the motivation, look for the positive, uh, uh, you know, activate your positive hormones and develop a self discipline number. Then you'll become successful. So first one is health, sleep, and your food things. So take care of that properly. Have a discipline in life. Second one is relationship. Have a great relationship with your parents. Always say sorry to them. Anything, see, always, you see, life is like this. Uh, 
Give me a minute. Let me bring water. Yeah. So, this is one of the best knowledge I, I ever, ever learned in my life. So, you need to watch and listen this very careful. Abrar, thank you for asking this question. Literally, if you follow this, your life will change from today. Okay, so you have, I have so much writing in my board. This is my own board to learn myself, okay? Very good, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Huh. Thank you. write on that every day? Uh, sometime. Once in a while, I'll write and write. Because I was traveling last uh, one month, so I didn't write, so it stayed on my, my board longer. Let me see. So maybe yeah. it's good if you like keep a daily schedule on it. Which one? Diane Sata. It's good if you keep like a daily schedule on that. Which one? Uh, the board. I have a schedule. I'll show you. Oh wow! Okay. I have a schedule. I have a schedule not on the board. I have on my calendar. Oh, on your calendar. Okay. So you have a schedule for literally everything. Not really, yaar. I'm I'm still also learning. I told you I was a dishwasher. So dishwasher will take some time to learn and change the things. So it's not like overnight thing. I'm still sometime the dishwasher will come out. I'll make a mess in my life and I have to clean. That's what I'm going to teach you. Because that dishwasher who stayed, who worked 20 years back in a hotel, still live inside me. So I need to really, really wipe that guy. So that's what I'm going to teach you now. Uh, but sir? <coughs> sir? Yeah. Okay, listen. Okay, so I hope you'll be able to see the screen, right? Yeah, I can see. Yeah. Yeah. You can see. Okay. A bit... It's, it's okay. A bit not, you don't need to read that. Okay. okay. So the life, there is three life now. You, you have three life. One... The background is blurred. Sir, can you remove that blurred background? It's it's okay. You, I'll explain because uh, actually it's not blur. Now it is blur. Because I I have to finish in ten to fifteen minutes. That's why I have to go. So let's let's finish this. So you have first circle is your past. Second circle. It's not a circle, it's a box. Okay. And the third circle is your future. Okay. In the future, in the past, you have a certain, in my life, I'll tell you. Okay. I I failed my 10th standard. I was a naughty kid. I was not, I made a lot of mess in my mom's life. I, I you know, I didn't study well. I was, I was not good with my siblings. I was always angry and uh, I failed several business. I lost a lot of money and, uh, and I was not disciplined. And I see, I, I'm 38 year old, 38 Hindu, 365. It's, it's a huge life I lived already, like millions of minutes I already lived, right? But these all stay in my past. But my, what I'm saying is, past has nothing to do with your now. If you create a new life from now, you can even wipe your past right now. So what do you need to do? You need to go to each and every, each and every areas of life and clean your past. For example, you were messed with your mother. So what do you need to do? You go to your mom and tell your mom, mom, from today onwards, I'm not going to be a mess. 
So today I'm going to be from future, from now and the future, I'm going to be very disciplined guy. Then this past will disappear. Then what happened? You will behave newly. So go to the teacher and tell your teacher, I'm sorry, teacher, from, till today I was a mess. From today, I'm going to declare, from today onwards, I'm going to be my word. I'm going to keep integrity. I'm going to be authentic. I'm going to have a clear communications. Then this past will disappear. When the past disappear, your life will change and your life will alter. It's pretty simple. You just need, because Abra asked me, how can I get motivated? This past disappearance is your, your powerful future. This past stays in your space. So go to your mother and tell your mom, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be a mess anymore. Literally tell from your top of your heart. Then tell from today onwards and make sure that you do a good girl, good boy. You can go to your teacher. So literally tell your, yourself that I'm, I was a mess in my relation, health. From today onwards, I'm going to be very disciplined. Then the things will change. Eventually the past will disappear. It will become empty. Then what our little boy said, then you create your future. Write down what is your future, create. All you need to do, create the new future. What do you want to become? Disciplined, structured, steady well, become entrepreneur. These things you can write on your future. You can become author of your life. You can, you, for to do, to become author of your life, you need to be the, the warrior in the battlefield. You cannot sit in the uh, gallery and predict the game. You have to be in the pitch. Literally, life is nothing, actually. You can create anything you want every single day. Every single morning, it's a new day. Then create a new life. I learned this in a hard way. So unless until you get evidence, you won't believe this. If one, of, one or two will believe in this room and they will literally, I'll tell you, they'll become legends in the future. One or two, maybe, maybe more. I don't know how you got this. In Literally, like I, I was really fascinated with Aditya Aryan because he got it. He got it. He literally got it. And I'll tell you, he's going to become something. Um, I assure you, he's going to become something. I don't know what it is. Maybe an entrepreneur, maybe a successful man who's go around and speak in the world. Maybe inspire people like me, go around and speak. Because he got it. He listened from nothing and he got the message. And one of you also got it. So tell me who got this, what I said right now. Past has nothing to do with the future. Past, you can literally erase. It's just like wiping in a fast because it's not in the real right now. It is gone. Sir, Why are you carrying these garbages in the fast? I got who it. Got... Yeah, tell me. Who is Vayan that? Sattar. Say your name first. Say your name first. Ryan Sattar. I got it. Ryan, go ahead, Ryan. Tell me. Okay. okay. Ryan, so basically, tell me. Like, say you were a mess you back in the past. If you declare to yourself and Ryan, everything, you no okay, Gazelle. Be... Gazelle, go ahead. Um, I understood that. Gazelle, unmute and speak. Gazelle, yeah, yeah. Abdul Karim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I understood that. Uh, every every um page of our life has we can write a new story in it. How can you write a new story if there is existing story in it? Um, like we can, uh, we can start an, a new day with anything new, something new, a hobby or something new. Yeah. Uh, not exactly. You are pretty clear. You are pretty close to it, but not the, exactly the thing. You can create your new story in your diary in your life right now if you dump your existing story. So far, Gazelle lived in a certain way and I'm telling no more, I'm no more that old Gazelle anymore. I declare now or from now onwards, I'm a new Gazelle. I'm very disciplined, bubbly girl, very active, you know, daughter to my father and son, my father and father and my uh, mom, then uh, sibling to my, 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 my family members, then, you know, one of the best students to my teacher and very disciplined. You declare and start doing it. That's it. You don't need anything. You just need to wipe. Take a pen and paper and crush it. And from today onwards, I'm no more that old gazelle. Declare the war against your past and create a new future. And be author of your life. If you want to become a legend, create a legend. 
believe in it and go for it. Okay, next yeah. one. Um, Fatima Amna, can you come on camera and speak? Then the new person, let me see. Yeah, and Zohel. Go ahead. Uh, what do you actually, uh, I have a nature of procrastination. How can I change this nature? Where is he? Where, where is he? Who is speaking? Zohel, sir. Zohel, can you come on camera and speak? This is the first thing you need to do. Okay, sir. Yeah. So, first thing you need to do, be on the camera. <laughs> so, so you see, the procrastination again in the past, it's not, it's not existing right now, right? So, literally declare from today onwards, I am no more a procrastinated Zohel. And tell to everybody in the world, I am no more a procrastinated Zohel. Tell your teacher, tell your friends, tell your family members, put in the Facebook, I am no more procrastinated Zohel. From today onwards, I'll be disciplined. I'll be on time. Then declare war against your past. If the past again come to the future, put it back. Literally put it back. Take a pen and paper and declare yourself, I'm no more my past. I'm my future. Then things will fall in place. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Because it's the procrastination. It's not something you can show me, touch, touch and feel, right? It is in your thoughts. Can you show me, if I ask you to show your phone, you can able to, you will be able to show the phone, right? But not procrastination. Procrastination is not real. It is thoughts. Thoughts and feeling can be eliminated by your own. And it is past. Past has nothing to do with the future. If I would have been believe I'm a dishwasher, I would have been dishwashing in front of you right now. I'm not believing I'm a dishwasher. I'm believing I'm a motivational speaker. I'm a trainer. I can empower people. So I'm believing it and I'm going for it. So I'm the author of my life. You got it? So Zuhal, you yes, are sir. no more a procrastinating guy. Okay. And just go for it. Thank you, sir. Yeah, well done. Okay, who's next? Fast, fast, fast. Call me. Ryan Satar. Ryan Satar. Go ahead, Ryan Satar. Where are you? You have to raise the digital hand so only I can see you. Okay. Digital hand. Yeah, go for it. Ryan Sadar. Okay, Maybe so... Let me know when I should stop, okay? So, sir, basically, I was like a very naughty and clumsy boy in my past. Now, yeah. So, now I'm declaring myself that I'm not going to be my past self anymore. Can you cheer for him? Can you say, yeah, it's done. Can you all just say, go for it, man. Go for it. Yeah, that's good. Go for it. Go I was it. too. Yeah, go for it. Everybody say in the, uh -huh. say go in the it. chat, go for go it for and it. make it happen. I will no longer be clumsy. Hey, I will no longer be a naughty boy. Today, Absolutely. I'm going to be disciplined and I will respect my family. Absolutely. So go for it. In case if it comes day after tomorrow, what you'll do? If you become again naughty and clumsy, what you'll do? I will do my best to put my past back where it belongs. I'll tell you. This is the next level I want to teach you, my dear friends. It took me long years to become who I became today. Because my language has been altered. You know how my language has been altered? You, you can see my language is not a normal language. The reason I became language as my language has been altered because I failed so many times. I declared I'll become healthy and I failed so many times. I failed. I said to my wife, I'm going to be a good husband from now onwards. I'll be disciplined. I failed so many times. But each time I'll go and say, I'm sorry, Jisni, I failed again. But I'm declaring again, I'm going to be good. I'm going to be disciplined. I failed my, I told to myself, Faisal, I'm going to be disciplined. I have a box here, tick, 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 tick. How many times I failed? How many times I, I successful? Similar way, I want you to fail. It's okay to fail. What is the problem with the fail? There is nothing wrong with the fail. Yeah, yes, and so, sir. Yeah, sir. say your name and say your name and say it. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Even if you fail, 
uh, you can always learn from your mistakes and improve Absolutely. yourself. So in case if you become naughty tomorrow, what will happen? I will it learn from my mistakes. Absolutely. 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 I will try to stop anything that turns me in naughty because, again. Will... Because, Ryan, how old are you? 11 years old. 11 into 365, how, what is the figure? I don't know. Yeah, can you do a calculation? 11 into uh, 365. Mm. 4,050. 34 34 million 68,000 uh, Yeah, can you believe this much 34 million second has been passed in your life? No. Man, it's only 36 million passed in your life and you know how much life left for you? You have no. minimum 40 year old, 50 year old, you will live again. So don't get upset with the past. Be fascinated with your future. Past has nothing to do with yes, the future. Sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Past has nothing to do with the future. Just declare a war against with your past. No more past. Yes. I'm going to be my future and start doing living a life that you love to live. Discipline your life. Take a new diary from today onwards. I'm going to live a new life. Create yes. your own structures. Create your own discipline. Create your own father. Create your own mother. Tell from today onwards, I'm going to be new son. Tell yourself, I'm going to be disciplined. Have a structured life. Then you can live a life that you love to live. Then you can become author of your life. You can be a pitch yes. and play a game. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well done, Ryan. I'm looking. I'm. I will look. You know. I'm. I will ask uh, Rabina, ma'am, to share the status. How things are progressing? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I want sir. you guys to share the feedback to ma'am and how it's progressing. Okay. Go ahead. Who else want to say? Uh, sir, the girl, sir, Rawabi. Sir, sir. Yeah. Amir. Amir was raising the hand several times. Amir. What? I was. Then Rawabi. Okay. I your voice is very low, right, Amir. Can you be a little bit louder? Can you please be a little bit louder? I was, I was like, sir. I was like, sir. Uh, so much time. I was failing so much times. Uh -huh. And next time I got it. Well done. So one, one time. Uh, I tell to my mother, uh, mm, mm, I will be okay. I will be. Then I, I, mm, I do like soft tell, and I and I get that time mm, okay. Okay, well done. Let's do yeah. an activity right now. If your father or mother around, go to your mother and say, from today onwards, whatever I did, please forgive me. And very specifically, one or two things. I shouted at you, angry at you. I was not listening at you. From today onwards, can you ask forgiveness to her? Tell her, can you please forgive me? From today onwards, I'm going to be a great, extraordinary child. Can you go and do and come back? Hug her and kiss her, father or mother. Go, get up right now and go and come back. Be on the camera. Don't turn off the camera. How many of you do it? And let's see. Go to your mother and father. Tell them, I love you. Tell them, I'm sorry. Tell them I'm going to live a life that I love to live and I'm really make, going to make you proud. Go and do it and come back. Go. Go. Run. 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 If your father or mother not next to you, call them right now. One of you. Yeah, I done. Pick the phone, pick the phone and call and come back. Tell them very spend some time okay go and deep and do it don't turn off the camera fatima you you turned off don't turn off the camera 
sleeping. Yeah, yeah, then it's okay. Send her a message right now. Send her a message right now. Hi, mom. I love you so much. And so far, I was doing one, two, three. And I'm not going to do that anymore. I really want to say I'm I love done. you deep down of my heart. They are very happy. Yeah. I told them that I would be more disciplined and they were very happy with that. Well done, Ryan. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Yeah. So mother and father is the first source of success. Then the teachers. Then your discipline. You know, then your structure. Then your oh, body. So sad. <clears throat> yeah. For me, my family is my first priority. Well done. Yeah. The second priority is school. Mm. Because family always comes first. Well done. Let's take a couple of more uh, sharing. Okay. Adit Aryan, did you do it? Abrar, who did it? And share with me what, what you felt. Who want to share? Raise the digital hand and say. What can you repeat it again, sir? Did you do the assignment? Like ask you to go to your mother and do it. And what is your feeling? If you have not done it, please go and do it and come back. Even if it is a phone call, tell your mother. So far, what you have done, it is past. Past has nothing to do with my future. Until unless whatever I did, I'm asking you for forgiveness. And I'm telling you, I really, really from the deep down of mind, I love you. And I'm sorry. And I'm declaring from today onwards, I'm going to be disciplined. I'm going to be really, really going to work hard for my future. I'm going to be author of my life, mom. I'm going to create a wonderful, powerful future for myself. If you have not done it, go and do it and come back. If he's not around with you, send a message right now, a voice message or, or anything. Or a text message. The yeah, Adit, what, what do you felt? I felt my mom said too happy and um, he was he had he had me. Well done. Then who else? Ayan, uh, go ahead. You felt great. You felt great, right? Because we miss this nowadays. Yeah. Well done. Uh, that just... Yeah, me and my mom is very, very happy to hear that. My mom. Well done. Well done. Who else? Yeah, Biju. Biju Mon. Raise the hand, digital hand, and say something. Everyone, you have to share something and we are done. My mom is so happy. Keep doing it. Make your mom and dad proud from now on, okay? I'm yeah. That's my dad. Yeah. Send a message to your dad also. If you are only doing to your mother, you are doing partiality. Make sure you also send a message to your dad today after the session. Send your cell, tell your dad like this. Dad, I just want to acknowledge you for being my dad. Can somebody write down this and share with everybody in the group? Dad or mom, I truly acknowledge you for being my dad. I know you go through a lot of ups and downs. I truly, 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 truly say you are my hero. And I would like to say so far there are uh, 36 million minutes and seconds I lived in this life. And I've been naughty. I've been, I've been good. I've been bad. But let me tell you, I take the 100% responsibility. So the first thing is, hello, dad. Hello, ma'am. I just want to say I really want to acknowledge you for being my dad and mom. Somebody is writing. Fatima, you are writing. You write and share with everybody. Yeah. Thank you for being a dad and mom. I truly Sir, want to. Uh, you. I'll write. Can you uh, tell me? Yeah, who is that? Abrar. Abrar, go ahead. So just say, hi, dad. Uh, hi, mom. I truly want to acknowledge you for being my dad and mom. So you can write in Malayalam if they are comfortable. I truly, truly, truly want to acknowledge you for being dad. I know you go through a lot of ups and downs in your life. You know, a young mother and father, they go through a lot of ups and downs. And your father must be going through that time. Maybe financial struggle, maybe, you know, um, you know, like many, many struggles, their work pressure and all stuff. And I really want to say you're my hero or you're my heroine of my life. Really, I want to acknowledge you for being who you are. 
yeah please mute and i want to say yeah. you you truly 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 um uh, i i take the, all the responsibility of what have happened till today i know there are 36 million minutes i lived around you M million seconds minutes whatever you know you do the calculations and you find out then i want to take 100% responsibility of what have happened so far yeah then you say uh, I am. I want to really, really say sorry for what has happened. From now on, I'm going to live a life that I love to live. I'm going to be the author of my life. I'm going to make you proud. So three sentences. I'm going to live a life that I love to live. I'm going to be author of my life. I understood I can become anything what I want if I literally put a structure into it. I want to create a good health. I want to create a good relationship with the people around me. I make good connections. And I'm going to connect with my God. And I'm going to uh, make lots and lots of money to make you comfortable. So these things, you should do it. And I'll tell you, if you do it, and if you share with the Rebina ma'am, or if you go to my page and share it, something about what you got, I'll be so grateful to you. Yeah. So what I'll do, I'll share my page now. I want you to just go to my page. Just go to Instagram. If you have it, if you don't have it, ask somebody, take a picture of this. And share with everybody in your life to follow me. So that will be one thing you can give to me in return. Because it is an energy which I have given to you. If you did not share that energy with someone else or with me, that energy will not work in, in your favor. That's what I understood. So if you want to make a difference right now, it is an opportunity. Rabina ma'am, I'm done. So I'm handing out to you. How we can scan the QR code in Instagram? Uh, just that name, impacting, and when you enter EN, you will get that account. Yeah, if you go, if you go to Instagram, and if you type impacting entrepreneur, then you will see it. Put in your status, forward to your friends, and tell them, hey, this has been given to somebody, given by somebody who taught me something new. Can you share this? That's it. Go to this one, then you'll see this video. This is my video. I'll I'll show one video, so then we'll end the session, okay? So this is one video which has been watched by fifty thousand people. Back from getting into business for the next ten years. This man arrived in Dubai in two thousand twelve. I'm Nigel Ibrahim Kuti, co-founder and CEO of Blue Dot Air Ambulance. He provides international patient transfer services. He was born and brought up in a business family in India. After my post-graduation in business administration, I moved to Mumbai and I got attracted to a social impact project which was set up by my mentor Shafi Mehta. While he was working, he ventured into investing in his friend's business. However, that failed drastically. That failure pulled me back from getting into business for the next 10 years. Part of the job, he moved to Dubai. In 2017, I realized that there is a demand for professionally managed international patient transfer service company in UAE. And we decided to set up a company, Blue Dot Air Ambulance. Blue Dot established their offices in India and Saudi Arabia. As of today, Blue Dot have completed more than 5,000 successful medical assists worldwide and we are proud operator of the largest medevac aircraft in the whole of Middle East and South Asia. And he says there are principles he follows as an impacting entrepreneur. As an entrepreneur, whatever you do, if you do it ethically and right, the rest will fall in place. So you watch this video. Go to that failure and pull me back. Put a comment and what you got today. Yeah. So that's that's way you can exchange the energy today. That's it, my dear friends. I truly love you. I feel like I was so so happy with the uh, the conversation I did with you guys today, and I wish you all the best. Be author of your life. Remember, past has nothing to do with your future. Past has absolutely nothing to do with your future. Just erase your past. Whatever the good memories, you keep it in your one space. Make it a disciplined life. 
and you will become extraordinarily powerful. And I know each one of you, you will become successful. You will become yeah. extraordinary. There will be a lot of failures, but dance with the failure. When that failure happened, just say like this and dance. Ah, oh, it happened, so what? So what? That should be the question you should ask yourself. And I'll tell you, everything and anything happened in your past, it is just a story right now. Because it's not like something you can touch and feel. Then why you are carrying that garbage? It is like human, you know, I don't want to say that word. You know, It's like a cow dunk. Why you are carrying that past? It is past. Past has nothing to do with the future. Future is you are in your hand. You have to create. You have to listen what Aditya said. You and I are blessed with one power from the God. The power to create the life that we love to live. All you need to do, erase the past and start creating a new future. Then go for it. Then you will fail. Again, erase. Go for it. Then you will fail. Erase. Then go for it. You may fail 100 times. But you will become successful one day. With yes, that, I I Libra, I'm signing off. <laughs> yes, can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. Mm, my name's Adit, not Aditya. Okay, you know, I'm a typical Malu, yeah. Dishwasher turned, <laughs> um, you know, businessman. So, I'm apologies, you know. Sorry. Yeah, it's fine. That always happens. Yeah. 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 Anyway. yeah, bye. Bye. So thank you so much. It's really bye. a great speech. Bye, bye. Bye. Thank bye. you. Thank you for coming. Yeah, please remember to do this, okay? Go to your mother, go to your father, make sure you're clean yeah. and you can do word. Yeah? Thank you so much, sir. The session was very inspiring and very interactive thank also. You. Thank you so much for your time. Say your name. Say your name also. A lot of children interacting with you. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, Murugeshan, sir, for staying in the session. Yeah. Yeah. Say some word and you may leave. Yeah. Say some word. Say yourself something. Thank you, Anybody? Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Acknowledging you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Motivation for thank you, sir, for the thank you. motivation. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Have now inspired me to become a better version of myself, you, sir. sir. Uh, absolutely. Well done, Ryan. Thank yeah. Abrar. Yeah. Yes. Bye bye now, sir. Bye bye, thank sir. Bye. 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 Okay, ma'am. Uh, Did we join Rubina? back to class? Rubina? Rubina, you're there? I'm leaving. Yeah. Okay, Fatima, I think I'm done. Ishal, thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye, 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 bye sir. Ma'am. Okay, bye. I don't see you. Bye. Hello. Ma'am, do we want to rejoin to class? Join back to class. Uh, uh.